Hi guys, today I'm going to show you some of the things you may need to know if you're going to be using the flight sim called Liftoff by Immersion RC. Um, first of all, we'll start with setting up the Tyrannus. Um, my Tyrannus, when I plugged it into the computer, wasn't actually recognised. Now I'm running Mac and I had a look around to see if I could figure out why and I couldn't. So uh, I decided to upgrade the firmware on the Tyrannus and as soon as I had done that, then uh, as soon as I plugged it in, the flight sim was recognising it straight away. So if yours isn't working, um, I suggest going and upgrading the firmware on your radio. Um, I'll put a link in the description to a guy called Painless360, I think his name is. He does a fantastic job explaining how to update the firmware on this and it's pretty easy. So, once you've got that done, um, you're going to need Welcome to, to TX. set up a couple of little things. Um, basically, let me just this warning. Off. basically, you're going to need to make a new model and then uh, adjust the, I think it was the offset and the weight. And I'll show you how to do that if you don't know, because I didn't know when I first done it. This is my first time using a Tyrannus. So, if I go into model here, let's start a new model. If I hold this down, we can create a new model here. Uh, create new model so we've got a new model model number two so let's go into through the pages so we can see up here page number and if we go through to page 5 of 12 we can see we've got this menu here now we're 100 on our throttle right now so if I hold enter in we can go in and edit that we need to come down to weight go into enter and bring this down to 50 Press enter, go down to offset, press enter and bring this up to 50. There we go, and then exit and exit, exit. You can see we're now at 50 on there. Now we need to do that for all of these options, so um, hold it, press edit, down into there and bring this down to 50. Do this for all throttle, rudder kitchen elevator a few moments later and that is it you can see we're fully set up now all of them have a weight and offset of 50 one thing I did and well I think I needed to change also was my throttle when we go through the calibration later on the computer when I was doing my throttle up it was actually going down so you will need to change uh, throttle so if I go onto the page button here page six page seven here so this is where you can change uh the throttle so if, for example if throttle was on channel one we can hit enter go minus 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 to this uh, where it says direction now when i press enter you'll see that the arrow points that way you can see how the arrow changes so that just changes your um throttle basically re reverses it so you may need to do that you might not need to do that I had to do it the first time I done it but it's worth me mentioning anyway and that's how easy it is to set that bit up let's uh, have a look on the computer so if you haven't already you're going to have to download the liftoff game now to do this you will have to first download a thing called Steam now the way you want to look at Steam is like an app store for the games Steam has thousands of games on there from the low budget all the way up to the top best sellers that are just coming out. Uh, it's been around for years and years so it's safe to, to use, don't worry about it. It is available on Windows and on Mac too. So download Steam, sign up and then in there you'll be able to search for Liftoff. And this is what Steam looks like. As you can see I just need to install the game on my computer here. And once that's done, you can simply press the play button to go to it. You can also have this leave a desktop icon on your desktop. Okie dokie, so let's launch the game and get into configuring your Tyrannus. So as you can see, we're in the game here. So we're going to have to first go to options, so click on options and then go all the way to the right and choose controls and press the play button. Now you can see we have a number of presets in here, but as you know, I'm going to use the Tyrannus for this setup. So I've chose Tyrannus. Then we're going to go up to calibration. We're going to put our sticks into the center and then press the calibration. Once you've done that, then you need to swirl your joysticks around and push them into their very far end point. So all the way to the top left, bottom uh, right, and so on, all the way around basically, and then just wait. And then you should be able to go to the next step. 
And for the next step, we're going to calibrate our throttle. So press next. And you can see here we have set throttle. So press that and then move your throttle all the way up. Press next. Then we're going to set your. Press that. Move your yaw to the left. Press next. So then we're going to set the pitch. Press that button and push your pitch forwards. Press next. And finally, our roll. Press it and we'll do a roll to the left and next. You'll now see that when we move the throttle up, throttle up and down, we can go up and down. If we move the yaw or rudder, we can yaw or rudder left and right, as well as our pitch and roll. And that means we're ready to rock and roll. Now I'm going to show you how to adjust the camera angle. So on Mac, you need to go into Finder, go up to the top to go and go to Folder. You'll see here that I have the squiggly line forward slash library uh, in there. Just press go. If that's not in there, just type it in. And then we're going to select application support, then Steam, double click in there. After that, we need to do Steam apps, and then common. Here we have our lift off, we can go in, then right click on here and show package contents. Go into contents, config. And here we have the player XML file, and this is what we need to make changes to. As you can see, we have a whole bunch of different things in here. Now, the only thing we need to change is right down the very bottom. So I'll just skip down here, and you'll be able to see the camera angle and a number. So the number represents the camera actual the actual camera angle itself. So you can just simply punch in whatever angle you want, and then save this. If you find for some reason that you can't actually open it, then right click and go to get info. Inside here you can select whether it's open with Safari or the text editor. Default it opens with Safari so it won't be able to be edited. So just go in and change that round. As you can see here, I've got the camera up at 40 degrees and we can actually start to see some of the uh, carbon fiber top plates in view. Um, this will be in the actual game menu system soon, there will be an update so you don't have to go through all that messing around. Um, I think I mentioned in my last video that there seemed to be a bit, bit of a glitch as well, so uh, when you have your first crash it seems like the camera angle resets to uh, default uh, because you don't really see that uh, carbon fibre in the way anymore and the quad doesn't feel as fast because the camera's you know looking more level. But as you can see, uh, the it does work for your first flight at least, and you, as you can see I'm getting quite a bit of speed up. So that's it for this short liftoff tutorial video guys, thanks for watching, I'll be back soon. Ah.